Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is a very quick video. Just want to see how easy it is to re-grip a golf club. Now I've got a two iron, the Titleist TMB. I've had it for a little while and the grip is gone. To the point where it just falls out of your hand now. It's basically like holding a bit of ice on the end of a golf club. I need a new grip. Now, I'm also extremely lazy. So the first thing I thought was, I can't be asked to grip a golf club. It's gonna to take too long. I'm just gonna buy a wrap. So I bought a wrap. Now the wrap I got looks like this. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, when I first put it on, it was up here and maybe a little bit of gap. And I mean, it looks, it looks awful. Look at that, that is, that's awful, that's bloody awful. But I got the wrap as a temporary measure and I said, I will regrip it. Now, the really bad thing is I've got grips at home because a while back I bought loads of grips um, for my Vokies and I thought I'll regrip them, make them look better. So I've literally got no excuse why I haven't regripped this, but it's probably been about a month playing with this. So, I mean, let's just get rid of this wrap. I mean, so here is the original grip. It's a Golf Pride and it is very used. Um, I've had this club for probably four or five years and I have never regripped it. I mean, I'm a 13 handicap. I don't really hit a two iron that often anyway, but I am getting back into it after having a year of and a bit off and I am starting to hit it more often and I do hit it quite well when I do. I went on to eBay and I was looking at golf grips and I thought, bloody hell, that's expensive. I'm gonna mess this up. So I thought, you know what? First one in years that I've done, kind of got an understanding how to do it. I'm just gonna buy some cheap ones and why not bright green? So I've got these bright green ones. I mean, I probably should stop wiggling it around like that in my face. So what the set came with was one of these. Well, actually it came with loads of them, but for this video, one of them. And it also came with some double-sided sticky tape. So I can't just do it, this is my living room. So I'm gonna take you to my kitchen. If you can hear the tick and tacking around, it's because my dog keeps walking around every time I'm trying to record and I can't be bothered to wait for her because every time I start recording, she just walks in and walks out. So deal with it. So we are now in my kitchen. Um, I've got dishes, so I'm gonna have to get rid of them. I got rid of the dishes. Um, so I think the first thing to do would be just to take this off. Um, I'm just gonna do it like a bodging builder. Oh my God. And just try to rip it off. Jesus Christ. All right, little tip. It's a lot easier when you lie it down and then just cut it down and then pull it off. Like, so much easier. So, yank that off. Would well, that be so good if it just came off in one go? I mean, ugh. shit. Right, it's off. And you can see we've got the tape on that was on before. So, that needs to come off as well. Unless you're lazy, then you could keep it. I'll take it off. All right, I'm not gonna lie, this is bloody tedious. And being bloody lazy, I'm not enjoying this. I mean, I'm gonna try getting it wet and see if that helps. Nah, it's still bloody hard, right? I'm gonna get it off. Um, at the minute I'm going with like, a knife and trying to scrape it off and hoping that I get like big bits that come off at the same time. But I think I might have to change my attitude here and maybe use like a scour. Ah, no, scratch all the shit. Ah. I don't know, but I'm gonna get it off. Okay. 
Don't go from the bottom and try going upwards. Get the top bit, and then you can peel it off. Oh, this one here is like a little spiral going around. I don't know if all of them do that, but I swear the last one I had was just like ripped it straight up. But this one here seems to be going on a little spiral. Oh, shot. If you were to ask me at the minute, I would have definitely paid someone to do this instead because it's a pain in the bum. But if you try to save money, yeah, this is definitely the way. If you've got patience, maybe some good tools. I mean, I'm just going out here with like a pair of scissors trying to get it off. It is hard. All right, this is taking forever. Um, yes, am I bleeding? I'm bleeding. How? Right, I've got most of it off. So bad at this. Right. Most of it's off. So we've got some sticky tape. Oh my god, what the hell is this? Ah, welcome to my dirty sink. So I'm going to pop this. Here they are. You can see now. Whee! So I'm going to pop this on here and then push it down so it's on and wrap that bit there on. Take the first little bit off. So this, this like sticky bit is uh, like in two strips for some reason. So then I'm going to just tuck this one here around and try keeping it as neat as possible. Oh, I'm so cack handed. Right. Pull this off there and just tap down the rest of the sticky tape. Now I've seen people do this, so I'm going to get it wet so it slides on. Like that. I've seen people do this before on videos. They fill up the grip and they go, oh yeah, like that. And then it's actually got a little arrow there to point down. So I'm guessing that's going to go the straightest bit possible. And then I'm going to attempt to slide this thing on. Oh my God, why is it so difficult? Right, and then still can't get a bloody thing on, so uh, I'm going to watch a video and see if I can figure it out. Needless to say, I think I'm a bit of a numpty. Just found that. Probably need to use that, so I'm going to try again. Why? What possessed him to do something like this? So I'm going to spray this around. Oh my god. Probably. Oh my god, it stanks. All right. Ah, oh, so slippery. Right, so <coughs> stinky. Right, gonna spray a little bit in there as well. The more the better. Oh my god, it stinks so bad. Um, right, sorry, countertop. Let's go on there, and then this goes on the top bit. All right, so solvents on. Now I just need to stick this. This is like the hardest bit, getting it to blade going over the top of it. Right, so that, oh, this is so much easier. Right, this goes right down. Now, oh my, I'm a pro, I'm a pro. Look, right, watch, watch this, oh my. Yeah. Right, that's a little bit. Bit of power. Oh, it squirted. 
<laughs> just squirted everywhere. Having that. I made that summer before. Right, so that's it. So it's pointing down. I think that's pretty good. Just leveling it up. Yeah, it points like with the grips like on right. Other other things. Right. So grip on. New grip. So if I was gonna do it again. Don't use water first time, it's not gonna work. Just like get the solvent spray. <laughs> Grip on. In all fairness, I messed up because I didn't use the re-gripping solvent spray because I dropped it in my office and I didn't see it. And then I'm stubborn and I thought water would work. It's a lubricant, why not? Um, yeah, it didn't work, <laughs> but all in all, even with messing around, it took me 15 minutes. So if I'd done that first time, I'd have been done in five minutes. That, that was easy. It would have been really easy. Um, get yourself some grips, you can buy them on eBay. You can buy real good ones, like 30, 40 quid for like a few, or you could buy like ones like this. Uh, I can't remember what the make is, Staplize. I mean, so those ones cost me, I think it was like 20 quid for like eight of them, something like that. So it wasn't a lot, so they're not gonna be good, but for what I was trying to do then, I mean, how, I don't really use my two iron that often, but mm -hmm. maybe I'll buy a better grip and do it again sometime, but I mean, that's pretty good. It came with that, it came with a set. So it came with one of these, well, loads of them. It came with these stickies, double-sided sticky tape that you pop on the shaft, and that's what actually kept this. And then you got some solvent spray. All you need, oh, you also got one of these things here that I tried to do it to keep it level, and actually it did, make it so I stuck the grip on right. I'd recommend that you had a vice, like something like that, so you can uh, stick it in so it's something to push it against. Or else like, I was just pushing against the floor and I've got laminated flooring and it does slip. But on from that, it was quite easy. Um, yeah, if you're too lazy to do that, go to the pro shop and pay them 10 quid to do it. Save them the hassle, but yeah, five, 10 minutes, easy job. Peace.